gave some postulates to explain the stability of atom. According to Bohr, only certain orbitals are allowed inside the atom and these orbitals are called discrete orbitals, right. This is the structure which Bohr gave for an atom. Here is the nucleus and then well spaced and well defined orbitals are allowed, right. And while revolving in these orbitals, electrons do not radiate energy. Bohr named those orbits as energy levels and they are represented by K shell, L shell, M shell and N shell, right. And Rule 2 was maximum number of electrons that can be accommodated in outermost orbit is 8. We will you know uh, do numericals on the same and try to understand this. Rule number 3, electrons cannot be filled in the outer shell until the inner shells are completely filled. This means shells are filled in a stepwise manner, right. You must be seeing those numbers, first shell 2 electrons, second shell 8 electrons and third shell 18 electrons. Bohr also gave a rule for filling those electrons and let us see what the rule is. Bohr said maximum number of electrons present in a shell would be given by the formula 2 into n square where n is the orbit number or energy level. So, orbit number for k is 1, right? It is at the first place from the nucleus. So, number of electrons in K shell would be 2 into 1 square which is 2. In L shell which is second from the nucleus, so orbit number for L is 2 and hence number of electrons would be 2 into 2 square which is 2 into 4 which is 8. M is at third place from the nucleus, so orbit number for M is 3 and hence the number of electrons in the third orbit which is orbit M is square of 3 which is 9 into 2 and it comes out to be 18. Similarly, n shell is at fourth place from the nucleus, hence its orbit number is 4 and hence the number of electrons in this orbit would be 4 square is equal to 16 into 2 which is equal to 32.